Hi, this is Mark Kaufman, Anthology's Senior Partner Software Engineer on the Developer Relations and Standards Integrations team. I am making this video for you today to explain how you can troubleshoot the invalid indirect URI message that you might see if you're developing an LTI 1.3 tool. So let's take a look at the message. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to open our developer console. And we're going to go ahead, and I have an LTI 1.3 tool installed on the system. It's called the BBDN LTI uh, course tool. So it's a course tool. It's not a course content placement. And we're going to look at our, um, hopefully my, no, my developer console doesn't, my video doesn't expand over with the, so it's this tool right here, BBDN LTI course tool. And we're going to go to our network traffic. And you may, if your stuff opens in a new window, you may need to set up your uh, developer console on your browser so that it also opens in a new window if uh, a, a tab pops open. This tool just opens in the same window, so I don't have to do that. I'm going to clear the console here, and we're going to watch what happens when I click on this. So I just got this message, invalid redirect URL. Uh, BBN LTI 13 Bobcat. Now that's the that's where I want to go. That's what I had set up in the um, law in the uh, managed placement. But what happened? What happened here? Why do we see that message? Well, <clears throat> if we go to our um, our login request. We're, we're trying to log into the tool here. And there's two parts to every LTI 1.3, um, the LTI 1.3 workflow. There's the, there's the OIDC authorization, and then there's the actual launch. So the first part, we're just trying to log, log in, and, and you can see our target link that we were trying to get to was uh, the LTI 1.3 Bobcat. But what we did, was we registered on the L, on the um, developer portal, and then that's the target link URL. That's not the redirect. That's not the redirect URL. You'll notice that when uh, we the tool sent to developer, this is from the tool itself. It sends developer.blackboard.com or the platform. It sends the platform a redirect URI. And if I pause here a minute and find that, I'll show it to you. There, you can see right here the tool is sent. The tool sends a redirect URI. It doesn't come from Learn, and the tool must send a redirect URI that has been pre-registered. So you can see here that the tool is sending LTI 13 Bobcat as the redirect URI. Okay, the tool did that, not Blackboard Learn. The tool sent that as the redirect URI. And if you look at the spec, because this is all based on specification, we read that redirect URIs or URLs are part of the auth or critical part of the OAuth flow. After a user successfully authorizes an application, the author authorization server will, and that's learn in this case, will redirect the user back to the application. Because the redirect URL will contain sensitive information, it is critical that the server doesn't redirect the user to arbitrary locations. The best way to ensure the user will only be redirected to appropriate locations is require the developer, that's you, the tool developer, to register one or more redirect URLs. So if we look at the developer portal, we see here that for this tool, on this domain, there's only one redirect URL registered. It's LTI 13. It's not LTI 13 Bobcat. So even though in learn, if we go back to the learn system, and I'm just going to close this out now. Even though in learn, we see that here, the LTI tool provider 
has a managed placement that has Bobcat. This is actually the target. What we see here in the managed placements, these are the target link URLs. They're not the redirect URLs. The redirect URL is the one that the tool sends to learn and tells learn, okay, come back to my redirect URL, and in there will be a JWT that contains the target link URL. So when your tool sends something other than what's been pre-registered here, you'll get this message. You'll get the error message that we just saw. We'll, we'll go back and do it again. Um, I'm trying not to make this video too long, but I do want to stress the importance of this because we often get this uh, issue coming up from new LTI 1.3 developers. And so I'd rather you like watch this video and understand than us spend like a lot of time back and forth with tickets and emails. So let's go back here again to the course tools and let's watch what happens. We go to our network tab and we go to the course tool and we click on it. There's our login request back here. But then the, we got the OIDC auth, and then you'll notice what never what ha never happens is there's never even a launch to the back to the tool because uh, the login was not successful. The OIDC auth, the redirect URI was invalid, so Learn's not going to launch to the tool because it's not that wouldn't be secure. So what we'll do is I'll show you I'll fix the issue in the tool, and I'll show you the launch where the redirect URL is is the correct redirect URI, the one that we registered, and then everything will work. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, Bobcat, here we come. So we'll go to our books and tools. We'll clear our network traffic. Now we'll click on the same course tool. You see the login request there, and now you see the um, down here, you actually see the LTI 1.3 launch, and now we've got our Bobcat. This verify failed is, is the tool actually is saying something that's not true, but um, what we've got though is we've got our Bobcat. So what happened different now? Well, if we go back here to our OIDC auth to learn, we see that the tool sent a redirect URL, URI, bbdn lti ingrock.io slash lti13. And if you look here, you see that is the one that we registered on the developer portal. And then what happens is the tool then takes the target link URL and that's in the JWT that's sent on the launch. The tool takes that and then redirects to that to display this page with the Bobcat. So that's a, that's a different process. The redirect URL is always has to do with the login uh, request. And it's always, always, always because the tool is sending a redirect URL back to learn that is not one that was pre-registered. And you don't have to register every, you see I got a Bobcat here, so I went to the Bobcat um, URL, that's the target link. So I don't have to, re I don't have to register every URL that I'm going to go for every page that I'm going to go to on the tool, I just have to have my redirect URL be able to uh, route to the, the target link. So that's, that's how a good uh, LTI 3 application works. So when you see that error message, make sure that you're, you've registered on the developer portal the redirect URL that the tool is sending back to learn. It has nothing to do with learn. It's the redirect URL that the tool is sending back to learn that's the problem. And all you need to do is register it on the developer portal. Okay, thank you for watching.